Welcome to What We Catching 360. My name is Mike and we are at the Val Dam again. As you can see, the sun is coming up behind me. I got a really warm fire going. Uh, luckily, today is not as cold as what it was last time I was at the Val, so that's good. However, we are at or in rather uh, Oranjeville. Uh, when I was invited to come to Oranjeville, I was like, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, but I've never been here before. And uh, anyway, my car was already packed and I was like, oh hell yes, we are going. So uh, we are here, we're at a private venue. I'm here with my father-in-law. Uh, this is his boss's place. Looks really cool. So I'm fishing in luxury today. Um, I'll show you guys the place a little bit later on. But hey, we're gonna put our rods in far. Hopefully we don't catch yellowfish again. So uh, it should be a good day. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining and uh, let's see if we can catch fish. So, we caught our first fish for the day. Take a guess what it is. Mm -hmm. One of these. So we've been catching a whole bunch of yellow fish again in the morning. So what I've done is I've changed just to a bottom that's a P6 that's on it. I've got some Chop Chop and Tracer on and I'm going to try to put this as far as I possibly can in. I know it's got fluoro, so the chances of catching yellow fish are good again. But hey, let's see what happens. Yes, look at that. Now for those of you that don't know, this is Renid. And he oh almost God. cupped that fish in the bucky. Let's have a look. And that is a, a yellow fish. Wow. What is it stuck on? Uh, it looks like it's stuck on another line. Oh. Not my line. Not your line. No. It's someone else's line. <laughs> oh well. So for those of you who want to know how to catch yellowfish, I'll gasp because that seems like that's all we're catching lately. So um, yeah, finally we got a bite. Let's get yeah. this yellowfish. <laughs> oh, he feels better. No, this, this yellowfish feels good. <laughs> oh, look at that. A little pop. There we go. Go. So what I've been finding, we've been working quite well yeah, is the big daddy baits maggots. So I'm putting four maggots on the bottom hook with a jumbo garlic floaty, jumbo floaty on top, and then crazy pine and some tracer. Popping that in and uh, oh, it's been sitting for about six to ten minutes. Let's see if we can get it in again. of yellow fish in this area but um hey still better than being at work while we wait for the fish we'll have a bar right we have another fish on if we can land this one I guarantee you it's a yellow fish <laughs> let's check him out Okay. 
So we'll never know what that was because it broke off. So as we're packing up, guess what? I caught my last fish for the day. Yellow fish, but a fish nonetheless. And guys, have a look. My new buddy Blake, he's got the fish. So yeah, you got a fish? Yeah, yeah I got a fish. <laughs> Well guys, that brings us to the end of this day. It has been a really tough day. You know what, drop me a comment. Let me know if you guys also experienced hard days at the dam. I did, caught one carp, a whole bunch of yellow. I wish I can say we caught a whole bunch of fish off camera. We didn't really, I think in total we caught five or six for the whole day. And, um, but you know what, it was still a day out, new venue, new place, so I do appreciate that. Um, Another thing I want to tell you guys, I met a really cool guy, his name is Keegan Buerta. Go check him out, he's on TikTok, so it's Keegan Buerta 5 He's got some really good tips there, quite a cool guy. He holds live TikToks every now and then, you can ask him any questions, he's quite high up in the angling world. So uh, hey, you know what, give him a shot. But uh, that is it for the day, I'm going to be back next week, hopefully catch better fish. But uh, this might be one of the shortest, most boring videos I've ever done. I don't know but thank you again for joining i do appreciate it as always take care stay safe we'll chat to you again